welcome back to another vlog i know i'm looking like a boy <laughs> i'm looking like a small boy because <laughs> i came to the office to the salon to do my hair so i'll probably just wash my hair took off my braids finally who else carries their braids for like a month see i'm sure i carry that braids for up to a month or more my month see march makes me happy there's something about march anytime i enter march i'm so excited because this is my best month this is the best month pisces were the best see i give it your keyboards thank you i came to the salon i'm going to wash my hair steam it and just weave it down i'm going to wear wigs i'm going to wear wigs for like a week right a week or not up to two weeks just for a while before i now braid my hair to travel <laughs> God, you know, unless I travel to just go and relax. Like, I don't mean travel to go and stress myself. 2020, right? 2019. 2020, yes. That was the last time I traveled to relax. And it might not seem like a lot for you guys, but I travel a lot. I like to travel. I like to vacation. So it's a lot for me to not travel for almost two years now. This month, I, this month is going to start my travel walker you know <laughs> once i start traveling now it's a wrap don't be holding me they'll be like stop please relax rest i'll just be what next where next who wants to travel with me let's go i just want to mat it and carry it like this for a while before i now make the hair to travel with um but i'm going to still cover that in this vlog i'm going to do my nails one fell off tacky as hell but i have to manage this for the photo shoot i have a photo shoot tomorrow so after the photo shoot tomorrow i'll probably now remove everything and and these nails too it has lasted for a month you guys remember these nails like this one just fell off today like in the shower i just fell off so i just go, i'm going to just finesse it and just hide it for my photo shoot i'm doing my 30th birthday shoot that's true i've never done a photo shoot in my life see i'm doing a lot of first things a lot of first things that i've never done in my 30s like i just want to try everything i've always said i want to do or just just do stuff see i just want to be trying everything and doing everything so i'm going to have a photo shoot for my birthday i've never done that before and i'm excited for it um if my skin still looks like it's peeling it is it's still peeling i just had to come out because besides coming to wash my hair and all of that i feel like i'm rambling too much but i'm sure you guys are following are you following are you following okay let's continue besides the fact that i came out to wash my hair and braid it and all of that i actually did something new today another thing that i've never done before in my life and i've always told myself i was going to do therapy and let me be serious i'm always i'm always joking but let me actually be serious about this this part of the video i feel like almost everybody in nigeria needs therapy and it's not even because of the typical issues we're used to maybe you're having a bad marriage or there's cheating or there's physical abuse nigeria nigeria as a country the stress and struggle we face in this country is enough for everybody to just have a therapist even the therapist should have a therapist i'm not joking this is very serious and it's something i've always been thinking about doing i'm sure my dad is watching this <laughs> daddy there's nothing serious so i'm fine i'm okay because <laughs> we have this mentality that you're going to see a therapist only when there's a problem but to be honest i just i've, I've been thinking to myself like growing up in nigeria growing up with nigerian parents childhood traumas trying to figure out your life like you know when you're small you see adults as people that have things figured out but when you grow up you realize it's a scam they don't know what they're doing and now i am an adult i really don't know what i'm doing so i have that thing i have that thing in my life and obviously marriage friendships relationships having kids your business life all of that you just want someone to talk to and it's not like there's anything wrong to talk to family or friends but your family and friends they have their own issues too everybody's fighting their own demons so it's better i pay someone to talk to the person <laughs> you know i don't know i'm paying you and yes so i had my first session today i am so excited and i'm definitely looking forward to it and i recommend it for everybody to be honest just somewhere you can vent somewhere you can share the way you feel you know when you feel like your emotions are taking over you or you feel an anxious or see this mental health issue we're talking about is serious so i mean it's not like i'm depressed or I'm, I'm going through anything but why would i want to get to that point if i now actually seek help why it's something i've never done before never and i'm happy i'm doing it i want it to be like part of my regular routine like you know how i because now i do like yearly checkup like proper health checkup i go to the hospital i do my full body scan and all of that so why don't i make this part of it like shouldn't it be like a routine shouldn't it be normal where you go and just work on your mental health as mental <laughs> and I don't, don't go to a pastor stop it don't go to a pastor straight up don't go to your pastor however you want to take it as your business because 
we're too this religious thing it, 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 it just it misses the point to be honest it really misses the point yes go to someone that believes in your like how that shares the same beliefs with you obviously but don't go and say i'm going to my pastor no go to someone that is educated and exposed to help you with things that actually because <sighs> i've heard stories that some pastors you go to with actual problems and they look at you like the lord be with you if i wanted the lord to be with me why did i come to you see i don't want to get into that topic because it drives me crazy anyways moving forward i'm so excited for this month of march and everything coming my way everything i'm really happy i'm really in a good mood like mm, i'm really in a good mood and i hope you guys are going to have a lovely month i wish you guys well this month everything you've been praying for you're going to get it everything you've been hoping for you're going to get it god bless our hustle everything is going to be all right we're gonna be fine last last you know my skin is still peeling we're trying to be fresh i'm looking forward to the trip you put no now i'm going to give you poor so i'm sure this vlog will probably go up when i'm there or when i'm back so i'm going to cappadocia and to the maldives maldives everybody's travel destination like tell me you don't have maldives on your travel wish list let me know what, that, what kind of wish list you have going through um talking most of the istanbul that i've gone to before i'm doing cappadocia well from what i learned <laughs> it's pronounced cappadocia hey i didn't know it was cappadocia i thought it was cappadocia but as I went, I think I was watching a program or something on YouTube and someone said Cappadocia. I was even laughing like, what is this person saying? I went to go and Google it, it was really Cappadocia. We're all learning, you know? So yeah, that's where I'm going to. I'm so excited. I'm really looking forward to it. And yeah, I'll see you guys. Okay, peace. My channel see him he's back here everybody was like bring him back bring him back bring him back uh, hey guys hi <laughs> just finished with the photo shoot it was so stressful <laughs> i'm done with you uh, anyways we're heading home finally there's really a small to peel i still have a little bit here to go and here to go but i had to finance it with the makeup so hopefully they're going to edit it huh you can let it breathe they're going to edit all of that but i'm finally done with the shoot and i'm excited to the final product so yeah so the, product. See. <laughs> the final <laughs> the final product of the shoot see okay. oh that's not like we're going with you around me oh yes oh see so the sun on my skin look at me oh what hi guys um good afternoon so today is the day before i travel i'm traveling tomorrow so i'm going to get a lot of things done today i want to make my hair i want to do my nails i want to go to the bank i want to pick up some clothes i'm traveling with as well from ziggy fashion house what else am i doing and i'm going to pack today as well so i moved everything to last minute that's it our flight tomorrow is in the evening so it's not like it's morning but i just want to make sure everything is done today my mother-in-law is here as well i'm so happy already like she's really taking a lot of stress from my body like trust mothers now so i'm really happy she's here she came in yesterday so she's the kids already um what else what else yeah that's basically this is my skin i'm completely peeled off now i don't know if i updated you guys already but if not this is what my skin looks like completely peeled off and this is what we're looking like i did my usual vitamin c serum my moisturizer my spf so this is it bye guys 
I need to start apologizing. Hi guys, this is like probably I know the last scene I was saying. I have a lot to do today. I'll take you guys along with me. Bloody 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 but see the kind of <laughs> the kind of day I had I can't even explain it. I saw you guys around twelve noon, right? This is this is probably like eight or nine in the evening. I had the most stressful day. I had the most stressful day. So when I saw you guys, I went to make my hair. I was waiting. I was not going to show you guys when I was making my hair because I felt like you guys have seen the salon too many times. But that's how I was making my hair. But I'll see my hair if you guys can see it. It's really long. Anyway, so when I was making my hair, I don't know. I was not paying attention. But they did. They already went like half, like from here to here. But it was so big, and I didn't want it to be like big braids. So I tried to lose everything out of the game from the beginning. So they had to do it again. So it just took extra time. I was really frustrated. I was so hungry. Then I rushed because I booked my appointment for my nails around 4 and I finished making my hair around 4 30. So I couldn't even think of picking up the camera to record and I was rushing. I was literally rushing and I had to fit the clothes that I was meant to pick up from the fashion house as well. So it was just a lot going on. As I was there my dad called me. <laughs> that he was in town and he was in my house. Like a lot was happening, and I was, I was not trying to rush the nail woman. I was like, Hurry up, bro. It was just too much. And I came out from the nail place, a car now blocked my car, I could not enter inside the car. And the stupid security guy had the nerves tell me, My you be like, say, Go find another way where you go take enter your car. Mind you, I was very hungry. I was so hungry. All these things were happening, so hungry. So I literally found another way to enter inside the car because the stupid car spoiled, so the car could not move, and it just blocked my door. Like, I could not enter from the driver's seat, I have to go for the from the passenger seat. Like, just the ghetto when I was done with that I rushed home and I think on my way home the tire I don't know if something entered my tire or anything but the car was just doing blah, 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 blah. <sighs> there was traffic I was in traffic sorry if you're in Lagos nah traffic is not that serious I was in traffic for like 40 minutes Abuja 40 minutes traffic is a lot I know Lagos people are used to 2 hours 4 hours no problem <laughs> our 40 minutes is a lot and it was so close to my house it was just stressful I had thought out a lot of things like when I mean I finished everything. I finished my nails around seven. I was in traffic for like 40 minutes or so. I got here like to eight or so. Did everything I was meant to do. My dad did not belong. He left. And I don't know if you can see the box somewhere there. I'm not even start packing, but that is my my box. I want to start packing. And I'm even stressed. Not like I'm feeling sleepy or anything. It's just I'm just stressed. I've just had a very somehow day. But sorry, sorry for all my rants and everything. Forgive me. Like I said, I've showed you guys my hair already. So I don't know if you people can see it, but this is the color and the baby hair. I told them to leave as much hair as possible so I can do baby hair. You're seeing what they left for me. <laughs> Cause I, don't have, I don't have edges, so I told them to see. Just leave as much as possible. Obviously, it doesn't look nice, but I'll use gel and form baby hair with it. The nails I just did, like I said, I'm not doing anything serious. The nails, I love it. They're so cute. So something pink. Ooh, so cute. So I'll just pack. The good thing about me and packing is the fact that I plan... I can baby extra with packing. I actually enjoy packing. I know people hate packing, but I enjoy packing. And I can be very extra with my packing. I, I go as far as sometimes. I go as far as taking pictures of the outfits I'm going to wear, like full blown outfits. And I'll take pictures. So I know what I'm going with. But I didn't do that this time. But I have like a mental note. And I wrote it down on my phone as well. So I kind of planned outfits. So all I have to do is put those outfits together. So it's easier for me. I can pack the day of travel. I can pack a day before because I have everything already sorted out. Like I've arranged everything down to accessories, down to jewelry, everything packed in my head <laughs> i can show you guys some outfits i'm traveling with because majority of them i think at least 90 percent of the outfits i'm traveling with they are new i've not worn them before because they're very summer 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 <laughs> and i've been saving it for traveling you know and obviously there's some new stuff from ziggy fashion house too i'm traveling with that it's not yet in store as well so i'll probably show you guys the outfits i'm going with show you guys the swimwears all those kind of things the glasses or just i know that's kind of thing people want to see abby okay hi guys so i tried to prop it up somewhere so you can see some of the stuff i'm going with well almost everything i'm going with i don't think i'll show you guys outfits for cappadocia <laughs> cappadocia <laughs> I won't show you guys for that because it's going to be cold. I just checked the weather now and they said it's going to be minus two when we arrive. Minus two degrees is not it's not hot, you know. Anyway, so the first thing, if you guys have watched my videos, you pull kind of know the story behind this caftan. I talked about when I did my unboxing with Banke Kuku, I talked about um Audrey in a caftan and a headband, but they sent me a PJ set. Remember that story when I said Phil? 
and so I was going to return the PJ set and get the kaftan and they actually sent it to me because I called them to complain and they sent me the kaftan the next day no two days time this is what it looks like it has their cuckoo print here it has their cuckoo print here and here I don't think you guys can really see what it looks like but it's on their Instagram page what it looks like so this is like a kaftan it has like a rope detail and please don't forget to follow me on instagram instagram is where you're going to see all the videos all the pictures and everything i'm just showing you guys you know a preview this this is giving me vibes of you know rich auntie relax nothing serious we've been doing this before you know <laughs> in case you're wondering for the pages that i kept that didn't return it just decided to post out there in case you see me rocking it you know i'm wondering it's not the same pages she's going to return i didn't return it i left it judge yourself the next thing is this dress i got from misguided i plan to wear this on my actual birthday so if you have like a birthday dinner i plan to wear this and this is from misguided i've not worn it before yeah bodycon dress but what i like about it is all black is long sleeve in case you're wondering what i like about it is that it has this cut out detail in front here i don't know if you can see all distance i'm showing you but if, i don't know if you can see here there's a cutout detail, so when I wear it here, it's like kind of cut out. It's really, really nice. This elastic on the sides, and you know what this means? It's going to help, like, like when you wear it, it's going to gather like this. So it's going to help, like, with big tummy and all of that. The next one is this sleep dress. I've had this sleep dress for a very long time. It was hiding somewhere in my closet. I didn't even know I had it. So when I was getting ready to pack, now obviously I'm checking the things. So you're gonna have to be sure, like, hmm, what do I even have? And also, I was like, ah. Ah, uh, I have this kind of nice dress. I'm sure you guys have seen something like this before. So it's like a slip dress. This is going to go down, and this is it. And the back is open. The back is open. <laughs> I don't usually wear sleeveless, but I just feel like this trip. I can get away with wearing a lot of nonsense. I don't know what I was thinking when I was buying, but I might as well wear it now. I don't think I'll wear it here. Or even if I went to wear it, I'll wear it with like a kimono. But there. Maybe if we're going like the beach, maybe dinner on the beach or something. I feel like this is going to be very appropriate. I love the color. It's like this burgundy deep red and it has a slit on the side. It's actually very flattering on the body. It's not even it's not even bad. The only thing is just like sleeveless like this. That's their business. I'm gonna rock it. <laughs> and I gotta see pictures. <sighs> this dress makes me happy. First of all, I've been looking for a chocolate like or brown. You can see it's brown colored shirt dress for the longest time. Or a or like an oversized shirt. I've been looking for it like I just never found what I was looking for exactly. Then I saw this on Pretty Little Thing. Woo! I saw this. This is so nice. So is this this fabric is kind of in, like it's trending now. I don't know what they call this fabric for someone that is selling clothes. I don't know what they call this fabric, but you know this fabric now. I even have another, I have something else I'm going with that is like this too. So this is what it looks like. It's from Pretty Little Thing. In case you're wondering. Shirt dress. It's transparent, so it's perfect for the environment i'll put my swimsuit inside now wear it on top this is from asos and this is a size 18 as well yeah size 18 from asos a very colorful outfit like different colors mixed together you know i just feel like to make sense i just felt like all my the clothes i was wearing they were all solid like same color same color so i wanted like bright colors mixed together so when i saw this on asos i was like yes and yes asos delivers to nigeria so i had actually ordered it and it got sent to me to nigeria the only thing you have to watch out for is the um custom custom fee because it ordered mine and it came to me in less than two weeks to be honest so yeah this is like a deep v it's so pretty don't oh, see this dress like i said please follow me on instagram my name my handle will be showing somewhere i'll give you put the content you're looking for so you might not understand what it looks like looking at it now this is what the sleeves look like and it has this detailing here and see now it goes with my nails that's true the pink goes with my nails it's so pretty next one you guys have seen this before and i just felt like i should travel with it finally i wore it for my um valentine's day outfit ideas remember this dress from dos clothing i love it so much you guys loved it so much when i posted it on instagram because i asked on my instagram reel like which one would you go for what was your best and every majority of people like they said they want they like this one so i was like yes i'm good to go with this is from kai collective i've worn it once but i felt like to be so appropriate for this trip as well probably wear like my bikini inside and just wear this on top <laughs> then i have this as well from kai collective I've not worn this. The tag is still there. This is one of the sets I'm going with. Like I told you, this is almost like the same fabric I showed you with the brown one. So see that line. I don't know what they call this fabric. God help me. So this is the shirt. 
and it has a trouser inside this i got like i got this for like to be a cover-up as well you know with this kind of trip you're not really dressing up dressing up it's like bikini cover up bikini cover up <laughs> covered up <laughs> bikini cover up bikini cover up like things you just wear easy breezy go to where you're going so this is uh, that perfect example i even got it as a set with the bikini as well let me just on the bottom as well everything they're all the same prints so yeah that's what it looks like it's a shirt just a maxi shirt like dress it's a short dress I can't wait for you guys to see the pictures of these dresses because I'm sure I'm not doing it justice here. Yeah. I'm really not. But this is what it looks like. We didn't even put tags on it because they're rushing to make it. So this one, I think they're like two or three without tags. But yeah, <laughs> when I come back, they'll put the Ziggy label here for me. But this is what it looks like. Pretty, lovely green. Yeah, this can be together like this. Or it can be wide like this. It's a low V and it's a short dress. So it's A-line short dress. If you guys can see it. It has a zip at the back. That's what it looks like. They put label in this one. <laughs> you can see my Ziggy label. So it's like a twist front. The front is twisted. Like I said, you won't understand. It's twisted here and it's like a pencil <sighs> dress. It's a, it's a maxi dress. It has a slit down the middle and it's twisted in front. I don't know how else I'm going to beg you guys to just go and check and see these things. Because even me, from looking at it here, I don't think I'm doing it justice. Mm -mm. But I promise you it will make sense. People, trust me now. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going with six bags. But they're all small bags, so don't worry. It's not going to take space. And what I packed, I have a lot of orange stuff. So I feel like this will go well. Or even green. This will go with green as well. So this is the biggest bag I'm going with. This is one. Uh, the name of this bag is Bambino. In case you're wondering. The Bambino bag. This is the Balenciaga Hourglass bag. In a beautiful lime green. Number three, just for dinner um, with the black dress. I feel like this will go well with the black dress because the shoes I'm wearing. Hold on, let me get the shoes so you. So that's what it looks like. It is so pretty, and I got mine in low heels, so they're so comfortable. And I feel like this will go so well with my um, with the black dress, the bodycon dress. And because of this whole bedazzled stuff, I felt like the lip bag don't actually make sense. This is my Alexander Wang bag, and it has Alexander Wang written on this. We'll take. Ever since I made that video, I was like, Bottega, no value. Bottega, no value. Anytime time I say any Bottega bag I have, I just remember, I just hear myself saying that. Anyways, I'm going with this cute pouch. It's so cute. This bag is like the perfect travel bag because it has like a strap and you can just wear it like crossbody and you put all your go inside. It's small but mine. Number five is my LV Petit Mal last but not the least i decided to go with the clutch and something gold you guys know how much i love my gold my accessories are usually gold so i'm going with this bottega as well bottega no value mm. let's go to sunglasses briefly oh before we do sunglasses let's do hats hats i'm going with four hats yeah four hats let me show you guys the first one i've had this one before i've actually used it for my trip to dubai before this is from asos this is like those oversized hats see it's covering my whole face those oversized hats and this is what it looks like on my head can you see my face no that is the point so it falls down here to cover your face <laughs> it's this I, I consider things like this as vintage already like this is something that you know when your kids grow up they'll be like my i took it from my mom like my mom had this i don't know this is just me there's some things i buy knowing that i'm going to give it to my kids like i wish like my parents had them and they were giving it to me like imagine my dad had this when he was growing up i'll gladly take it from him like it's just a cute gucci monogrammed hat summer hat it's so cute and this is going to be a classic forever this is gucci print like do you understand it's not nothing trending it's just a classic and this is what it looks like if you guys can see me jacquemus <laughs> jacquemus hat is orange i have a lot of orange things and i just feel like this would be perfect for it i've not worn it before that's what it looks like i've not worn it before it has this drawstring here so you can make it tighter or you can leave it loose like this this is a bucket hat this is the only bucket hat i have the black one is my husband's one i'm always wearing it but this is the only bucket hat i actually own i don't wear it often because it's orange but i feel like it's be perfect for holiday this is what it looks like see it's not making sense now but trust trust me it's going to make sense this one's actually not bad at all the only bad thing with this is i don't think they're thinking about the fact that someone is going to wear this hat because I don't know if you guys can see this place that they beaded like this or they they're weaving on your skin like when it's when you wear it here it's kind of painful that's what i mean like it's it's rough here this place is actually so cool 
it's actually so cool i just like i imagine this like a picture of my whole face is covered it's so cool that's why i made this kind of hair in my background before when i'm filming i have two of them they're both from zara but i've not used this one before so i feel like i should just go with this one that's the one i'm using that one i've bastardized that one this is this, this one you're seeing here each bag and yeah that's what i'm going to go with so all these small small bags i'm going with i might end up carrying this every day this this is the practical bag i'm going with these ones are just for senge menge now onto the ones i actually love so these ones i'm showing you guys are from like high street stores the first one this is from ziggy fashion house it might still be available so this is three thousand three thousand nine ziggy fashion house so check it out if you want it it might still be available i'm not sure this is so cute so cute forgotten how much i got this i had this i've had this for a long time now i don't know how much but it's definitely not past five pounds if it's asos i don't think it'll pass five pounds so these are the cheap ones the next one this is from asos as well so cute i love these ones definitely a better um quality oh <sighs> they're talking about now put my baby here with the brown shirt dress bruh if you're obsessed with sunglasses you can't just be doing only one type and i have different types so yeah if you're wondering what is this girl wearing i know i know you can't relate but if you can relate you understand how this is nice okay so we're done with the cheap ones let's go to the designer ones <laughs> so this is the first one this is from loewe loewe that's how they pronounce it right this is the spelling of the brand loewe so it's l-o-e-w-e -E, but the w i think they pronounce it as v this is what it looks like it is so cute it has like this army green for the frame but the sides black like i said if you're not into this kind of weird sunglasses you won't understand but if you know you know sorry <laughs> this is what it looks like this is so cute gucci is green is transparent it has like a green frame it's perfect because i have some things that are green that i think this will go with this is what it looks like on my face this is the oversized sunglasses i don't want to go with something dark i just like the fact that it's transparent but it's still giving me that oversized feel this is what it looks like this is fendi and this is so pretty i like the orange frame here because it's going to go with a lot of the oranges i'm going with this is what it looks like it has the f this is chloe this is what it looks like it has like space here but this is my these are my last pair so this is chanel and this is what it looks like it's just so vintage so cute and that's it so yeah that's basically what i'm going to be going with the next clip you guys are going to see me i'll probably i don't think i'll add it to this vlog this is just my packing and get ready so next time you guys will see me i'll probably be in turkey or Cap um or maldives so thank you guys so much for this vlog i know it's been a very long one but i'm so excited i'm going to pack my things i'm gonna get relaxed <laughs> I might, not, I might not be showing because I'm really stressed and tired, but I cannot wait. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.